Hi all, here's another short video on power of feature templates in sheet metal. Here I have a, a rear panel with some potential cutouts and of course I can use normal cutout, I can pick the, the profile and create the cutout. But in some situations these need to be part sheared or semi perforated to be punched out later. And there's not a standard command in NX Sheet Metal at the moment to actually do that. So here again, feature templates to the rescue. I've created a feature template called Part Shear. What is the body that I'm going to operate on? What is the direction of punch, i.e. The, the face that the extrude or the cutout shear is operating from? And then what curve am I going to use? And in this case, we're using this one. And then all I need to put in is the shear depth. And in this particular case, I'm going to use the sheet metal material thickness divided by two, so half the thickness. Hit OK, and my part shear has been created. I can do this for all of my other cutouts, irregardless of shape. You just need a sketch to do it, and step and repeat. So in this case, I'm going to just check my curve is going to be, let's, let's do the slots this time. I can put in a fixed value, 0.5, or the references I did before. And if I turn off sketches, we've got our part shear geometry ready to go. Let's have a quick look at how that feature template is built. If I just open the part here, it is very, very simple. I've created a sheet metal tab. I've created a sketch which represents the, the cutout. Of course, I've got clip section turned on here just so we can see what's going on. I extrude the cut down from the top and I extrude a unite to the bottom and generate the feature template. It's as simple as that. Hopefully this helps and uh, the possibilities combined with the power of reuse library. If you generated your deconnector cutout sketch with all of its variables for the different sizes and then combine that with either a normal cutout or a part shear are uh, really making your workflow efficient. Hopefully that was of good use.